What is up guys, my name is Ali A and welcome to a complete in-depth guide and tutorial to the uh, easter egg which can be found in the Call of the Dead Zombies map. It's not an actual easter egg, it's a series of events you can complete to unlock um, a mystery gift at the end. I won't give it away for those of you that aren't too sure what it is yet, you can find that at the end. But this video is presented by um, actually one of my subscribers, his name is uh, Mr. Dalek JD. I contacted him and we had a nice chat and uh, he agreed to let me post this on my channel to show you guys exactly how to complete this easter egg but we also have uh, a co-op guide sorted out and uh, not many of you may know how to complete that it's actually slightly different to the solo version which I'll be posting in a few days time so if you'd really like to see that then like the video this is probably the best guide you're going to find to complete an easter egg and you do get a really cool prize at the end so please check out Mr. Dalek JD's channel uh, he's got some really good stuff on there thank you very much for 40,000 subscribers it's just insane how much I've grown over the past few weeks and months so I really appreciate all your support so enjoy the video I hope it really helps you out and subscribe to see more zombies gameplay hello once again viewers yes it is me Mr Dalek JD and in this video we'll be showing you the amazing awesome Easter egg on solo so feel free to hit the like button and comment to show your appreciation so as you see on the first step we have to do is we have to knife the door, and that's the most important part because you can't begin the Easter egg without. Hey, is anyone out there? We're stuck in this room. I'm blind. I'm blind in my eyes. Holy shit balls! Me too. What did you do, Rick Toppin? I did nothing. There's a light switch. Oh, I think I found a lever. Perhaps this will turn on the light. No. Ah. Let go! That's not a lever! Break top it! Did you hear that? Oh, sounded like someone outside. Hey, you! Hey! I need vodka! Hello! Can you help us? There must be a blown fuse or something. It's dark in here. <laughs> So yes, as you heard from Rick Toffin, there is a power fuse that is needed. And the power fuse is just up the stairs. The power fuse will either spawn on that desk or that desk, but uh, it didn't spawn on there for either, so it spawned next to this cabinet. So that is just a quick warning for people that do have trouble finding it, because that is where it will be. And before you do this, this is just a warning for people doing it on solo, uh, you will need a decent strategy and quite a lot of points for to complete this easter egg so uh without further ado let's put the fuse in the power box and uh talk to you in 30 seconds ah much better now i can see the problem we must have gone too far into the future look the teleporters completely broke the time circuits are damaged we'll have to reroute them. wait you took us here on purpose where are we? A better question, Genshi. Oh, look at blinky light. <laughs> oh, great, Nikolai. You've just activated the MTD security system. Good. Excuse me. Your side. Yeah. The handsome one. If we need you to locate the power sources of the security system. Oh, I'm handsome. <laughs> so, yeah, as he, as he was just talking, um, there is four power generators around the map that we have to destroy and the first one here is by the MPL when you first open the uh, the left route to get onto the ship and you will need to get Semtexes if you don't know where Semtexes are on this yet just look it up on YouTube there'll be a bunch of videos but you will need to uh, uh, buy several Semtexes throughout destroying these uh, generators if you're lucky you can take them out in one but uh, it's really it's just a case of uh, it's just a case of uh, trial and error basically. So here's the second one. It is uh, by the Juggernaut, or where you buy the Semtexes. And this one was an actual bitch. I don't understand why I didn't get it on my first on my first throw. But eventually, I think it's fourth time luck. I actually managed to destroy this thing. And boom! And this uh, third one is uh, behind the lighthouse. And this is a big fail on my part. You really uh, don't want to do this. What you want to do is basically the far left little peeping square is where you want to throw the Semtex through to destroy this generator. And we got that in one. Sick one, bruv. And the last one is by the door. You must have obviously noticed it while they were talking. You destroy that, 
knife the door, and uh, we'll do the next part. Okay, that did the trick. Is that all you're going to do for the trip? Thank you! Let's dance, you burping fool! So now that they are occupied, I was wondering, are you doing a special error for me? I need you to retrieve a very important device. It looks like a long, stiff, hard golden rod. I think they added that stiff thing in as actual sexual joke, but um, you want to come over to the electric and you want to press X twice on the wheel to spin it twice. And then these three levers, you want to pull the first one down once, and then the far right one a total of one, two, three times. Now these are quite crusty old levers, so it did take a few presses of the X to actually, to actually go down. But as you can see here from doing that, there is a random submarine that has appeared. And I'm sorry all you Beatles fans, it is not a yellow submarine. But um, that will shine a light in the lighthouse. And the next step is you want to get a VR-11. Now this, that part may take you quite a while, but trust me, you will get it eventually. And as you can see, that is the light from the submarine. And what you want to do is, I suggest making a crawler like what i done. And you want to shoot the crawler. And if you, obviously, if you know already, the VR-11 turns them into humans. And... The human zombie will run towards the light. Now, you don't have to do it this way, but i done it this way. So when he runs into the light, the Matryoshka doll will hurt him. And he'll be sent up that way. But you can shoot him with a Galil, a ray gun, a commando, whatever gun you have. And as long as he is in this laying position, you've done it right. And all you have to do is wait for him to go up the top. And he will combust into a bazillion pieces, which you won't see. And he will drop the golden rod. The long, hard, stiff golden rod. As you see, it fell down there. It looks a bit like an hourglass. just want to go down and hold X on that. And now you want to go back to uh, the door. And there should be a little tube on the left. And you just want to hold X on that to send the golden rod up to the characters. See what they want now. with us? Kinda of sick that I have to ask this, but Rick Toffin, is that a rod in your pocket? Nine, let's go. I've got this what we need. <laughs> yeah, drunk. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help out there. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh no, what's happened? Has it worked? Hold on. Hold on. Should I get out and push? Uh, the fuse box not shorted out again. Oh. Ah, the fuse box has fused itself. So all you've got to do for this is you've just got to knife the fuse box and they'll be on their way. And that is the end of the easter egg. So yeah, that is the end of the easter egg. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has been as simple as possible for you lot to understand. Because it is a complex uh, easter egg when you first find out. But once you really think about it. It is really, really easy, and we get the inevitable Wonder Waffle DG2 drop, and we get a uh, achievement and a lovely gamer picture. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember that you can always click the like button, it will really help me out and uh, make this video a bit more known. And feel free to comment on uh, what you think, have you found out how to do it on co-op yet? <laughs> I know we will eventually be posting that, so look forward to it. Thanks for watching. Peace! Show me.